All right, check this out. Ah, so the last time I had this light, which is the Ape Labs Maxi 2.0 IP. The last time you saw me holding this light, it was like I was uh, being held hostage. not here in the beautiful DJ's Guru studio. So we have a tour pack with the Connect. We have a tour pack of the 1.0 and the 2.0, and we're gonna dive in deep to the Ape Labs Maxi 2.0, and we're gonna do it right now. What's going on everybody? Justin Schwartz here, founder of the DJ's Guru, coming at you at the DJ's Guru studio to talk to you, finally, about, and turn on, the Ape Labs Maxi 2.0 IP, and good lord, what a, a great improvement aesthetically as far as a component. This is unfinished furniture. This is finished furniture. This is a Cadillac. This is a Tesla. Although a great and still viable product, and this product is still probably light years ahead of many other brands out there currently, uh, this just takes it up another notch, and we're going to go through everything in just a few moments. But before we do that, make sure you're checking us out at the DJ's Guru dot com great content articles blogs how to's definitely check that out if you have any questions we're always happy to help or you can drop your comments and questions down below and also consider subscribing to our pages here we always appreciate that now back to the ape labs maxi 2.0 so We'll, we'll talk about the specs of this, but we'll, we'll basically kind of do it next to the 1.0 because on paper, they're both three 15 watt LEDs. This adds a new color variation. So this was RGBW, the 1.0. The 2.0 is RGBAW, and they created a new color, an LED diode called Amber White, which we'll talk about a little bit more in depth later but it's going to allow you to create nine additional colors that you do not get with the 1.0 version and gives you three shades of amber, seafoam green, candlelight, other very, very popular colors that are important to event professionals, wedding DJs, and mobile entertainers all throughout the country. So the color mechanisms with this definitely are an upgrade and give you more to choose from and do it without really having to think about it or program or anything like that. So the LEDs, uh, although the same as far as wattage, are different. So this is a more advanced, more efficient LED diode. So it's going to be a bit brighter. It's gonna pop a little bit more. We'll show you later and you can kind of see for yourself. And it's just a more efficient LED diode that really works better because it's made now versus this, which was technology back then, and they kind of have to keep the, the specs and the way that they work pretty much the same when they build a product like this. This is an IP65 rated product now, so they have finished it. First of all, they did a powder coated finish on here. So instead of just the chrome finish with the, you know, kind of cool flare on the front, they now have dialed it down a bit, made it more elegant. I say Tesla earlier because it has these kind of cool rubberized bumpers around the side that make it IP65 and weatherproof. Uh, I mean, these things are pretty much almost waterproof. They changed up the mechanism on the back for the hanging bracket. This was a little bit flimsy. It does make it easier to hang it up on a truss, but not many people are doing it that way. So what they did was they kind of integrated it into the light and it's more about angling it out now although you still do have a way to hang the light, it makes it a little bit more difficult, but 
they did change that as well. They made it a little bit more user friendly for the way that people are actually using the lights because not many people are hanging them. As far as also the differences and the advanced features, I mean, again, I mentioned the aesthetics as, as I said, they dialed it back, they made it more elegant. So you still have the flare there, right? But it's, um, it's a little bit more understated versus the kind of quirkiness and the character of the original model. Really the next thing to do is to see the Mons. So enough talking, right? Let's see these next to each other. Let's see the difference. Um, these are built in a way where currently out of the box, what we have on the last existing tour packs here behind me have the original 20 macros of color. So you have cool white and you have the RGBW LED diode without the update, okay? Uh, this obviously is the RGB AW with the amber white, which is already built into this. Now there is an update through the W app and the control one box um, that allows you to, it kind of mixes the colors and the LEDs differently to give you 29 macros and to somewhat match up better with 2.0 so you can integrate these lights together and you can update these. We're gonna show you a demo right now with them at the original version and the current so you can kind of see the differences in color and um, see where they've come and where they're going. Are you ready? Here we go. All right, so I got them on. Finally, right? Next to each other, we've got a really about eight to 10 feet. So listen, the truth of the matter is these can go 30 feet and beyond, and you're really not going to see the major difference in brightness on the 2.0 until it hits the higher distances. So personally, I've seen both of these in action, and in this situation, they don't really look that much different. So honestly, if you're not going higher than 15, 20 feet, you don't necessarily need to have the higher LED diode, but I have seen it go at a more condensed level of color at a higher distance for sure. So anyway, the first thing you're going to notice, A, with Ape Labs, you don't get hot spots, you know? So that's the one thing that I need to point out to everybody with Ape Labs products and why I feel it's so much better. The German LED and the optics that they use, which are Italian, and the optics that they use really make this just a beautiful and vibrant color that projects just super even, clean, and it just looks different than any other LED diode that I've ever seen. So that's the first thing. The second thing is you're gonna see these, as I mentioned earlier, in the 1.0 model of the original color scheme of 20 macros where you have the 2.0 with RGB AW with the amber white of 29. So we're gonna cycle through these colors and you'll see eventually that the 1.0 models will stop and the 2.0s will continue to go using that additional variation of color to create you know, a larger palette of colors. And then when we're done with that, we'll do it with some music. Here we go, are you ready? Got a nice purple on the 2.0, a couple of shades of that. This is like a seafoam green, a really nice lighter blue. The red is really nice, kind of a mint green, royal blue. Here's your candlelight colors. Does a bit of a cool white. A lighter blue, kind of a violet. A lighter violet. Here's your pink. Hot pink. Orange. Yellow. And um, you'll see it continues to go here until it eventually reaches the mint green, which um, again, it's hard to tell, but I mean, I'm standing right here and I could see, A, they use different optics. It's a, it's a different lens that they use and it does just pop more and the color just looks a little bit better to me. So uh, you can't go wrong with the 1.0s, but the 2.0s definitely do show a difference in my opinion. So that's them in their native static colors, and I think it's time to see it with a little music. You ready?
All right, so let's take a deeper look at the actual tour packs themselves next to each other. On your left, you have the 1.0 model, and on the right, you have the 2.0 model. Both of these are charging cases, so you have the charging mechanisms built in. You then plug that into a wall, and then these then slot right into the case, and they charge beautifully. Uh, same thing here with the 2.0. Slide right in and they charge beautifully all right into the case. Uh, what I love about the 2.0, if you notice, it's a little bit bigger. Uh, what they did was they added a section in for the W app and that slots right in right there. Also charges, which is cool. I put it in the wrong way. Um, and now you have everything already built into the one system. So I like that they had, they did think of that so you don't have to put that into another case. And that's pretty much it. Lightweight, very, very portable, very durable. This is a flight style case that you would you know, have with a turntable or a DJ controller case or CDJs or whatever. Really, um, I've been impressed actually with the way these cases are built and the way that they protect the lights. And overall, for a package like this that's going to last you a very long time, it does make sense to me to buy the better case. All right, so let's take a closer look at these. So you can see the 2.0 is you know really sleek really sexy it is really just a finished product where the 1.0 although was fantastic it just did look a little what i would say diy in the sense of it's very easy to get into this thing and fix it yourself um and it just um although it looked more industrial i guess would be the best word to use um but those are the differences and some people like the 1.0 is better some people lo love this chrome finish uh it's just it's aluminum believe it or not uh these are all aluminum not made of steel so they're lighter weight they're much much more resistant to corrosion that's a big advantage with ape labs a made in germany product so keep that in mind that's really the the major differences as far as the way that they look this has maybe a little bit more weight, but still very, very lightweight. Both of these, I believe, are under five pounds. And um, when you start to add that up versus some other lights that are made of steel and are a lot heavier, it really does change up the game for you when you can fit six lights uh, into a smaller case and, and be able to fit, ultimately, a full lighting system in the front seat of your car. All right, everybody, so what did you think of the demo? What did you think of the 2.0 versus the 1.0? Really both fantastic lights, uh, both still extremely viable, so don't feel too bad if you, if you have a bunch of the 1.0s and you haven't been able to get a chance to buy the 2.0s yet. These babies are still really, really effective. I use them myself and am always happy with their performance, but they made that this light better is really that simple. So I love doing comparisons like this because you're really comparing the same light uh, and you can really say oh, yeah they they did it they made it better and everything that you would have changed about the 1.0 is pretty much what they did here with the 2.0 so it's great when a manufacturer listens and they really do take into consideration what the user base is looking for uh, versus just what makes sense for them one final change that they did make with uh, the 2.0 versus the 1.0 is that without the remote the 1.0 is ultimately useless uh, other than being able to turn it on and having it go back to whatever was the last program or macro or whatever that you had it in. With the 2.0, they now have onboard control. So you can actually go and go through the different macros just like the remote and access different programs just in case you do lose or forget your remote. You can get through the gig and not just be stuck with one program throughout the night. So. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed watching this. If you have any questions, make sure you drop them down below or reach out to us at thedjsguru.com. We also have a link in the description if you want to make a purchase. Also consider subscribing to this page. We appreciate that as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed making it. As I always like to say, we'll see you on the flip side. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye now.